you've committed to a side hustle and you've set some specific measurable goals. Now it's time to brainstorm some potential side hustle ideas. Remember, anything can be a side hustle if someone is willing to pay for it. To find a great idea, you'll probably need to generate more than one possibility. So start by writing down at least three ideas. Even if you think you already know what you want to do, challenge yourself to come up with at least two more options so you can verify that your first idea is indeed the best. Stumped for ideas? Do some research. As a student, you're good at that. Just as you'd search for ideas for an essay, research information about the activities you're interested in. As you look around for ideas, beware of those that sound too good to be true. If someone says you can earn $100,000 a month from the comfort of your own home or make a million as an international agent for their overseas company, that's probably a scam. A genuine side hustle is your unique original idea, a venture you own. Once you've generated at least three viable ideas for a side hustle, it's time to see whether they pass the test of the three P's. For each idea, ask yourself three questions. You'll find these questions arranged in a rating matrix in the worksheet called Evaluate Three Ideas for a Side Hustle. First, is the idea pleasurable? A side hustle shouldn't feel like a second job. It should be something that excites you. If you can't get excited about your idea, then you'll find it hard to follow through on your plans. Second, is your idea possible? Given your current situation and skill set, can you make your idea happen within the next one to three months? If the answer is no, that's okay. It just means that your side hustle idea may be larger than you thought. Maybe you've come up with an idea for a full-blown small business. And if your idea isn't feasible in the short term, don't give up on it yet. Maybe there's a piece of it you could tackle now. For example, maybe your idea is to create a facial recognition system for loaning and returning library books. That's not a three month side project, but you might be able to build a less complex app in that time, especially if you're doing your side hustle with a team of friends. Finally, is your side hustle idea profitable? Have you done some research to determine whether someone will pay for what you have to offer? Now, if you want some help with that research piece, check out the tips in module two. If you think you'll have paying customers, is there enough space in the market for you to enter it? For instance, let's say you want to sell baked goods, but there are already four student bakers doing the same thing. The campus market might be oversaturated. So, maybe you could find a way to apply your passion for baking in another way. You could, for example, decide to create baked goods for pets rather than people. To determine whether your idea is profitable, you'll also want to identify your costs, the cost to launch your side hustle and to maintain it. Compare these with the revenue or income you expect to bring in. Weigh each of your potential side hustles against the three Ps. If each of them seems to be a strong idea, then go with your gut. The idea that's calling to you is probably the idea you should pursue because your passion for it will give you the energy and determination you'll need to succeed.